Hey guys, I got some new stuff in the mail. I want to show it to you and share it with you. I've got a new SynScan hand controller and a new power cable for my EQ6R. My name's John Robinson, the AstroTard. This is Deep Sky. Okay, let's open this stuff up. Now, I've already opened up the, the box from Orion. Now, you might notice, why am I buying Orion equipment for my Skywatcher mount? Well, according to Orion, they are compatible. So here's the original hand controller. And then down here in the bottom, you can see it's got an RJ45, uh, two RJ45s, and a USB 3.0. No visible markings that it's a Skywatcher. Here's the replacement unit. Looks identical. On the bottom, it's also the same. So, I believe the guy that sold it to me, they, from at least the visual appearance, looks, looks like it's going to work. So, why am I replacing this unit here? Well, I was, uh, I was remotely astro imaging in Tennessee. And I fried the board in here. I don't know what I did, um, but I smelled something. And then immediately I noticed that the power light, the backlit LED, died on me. Um, so maybe it's partially because of this problem here. It was starting to come apart anyway. Maybe because I I didn't put it in its cradle and it's, it banged itself on the cement a couple times. But anyway, it, it works. Um, it's just that I have no LED backlight here. The way I achieve LED backlight is using USB 3.0 power. Without it, I don't see anything. And I should see something even without the USB 3.0 power. So that's what I mean by a fried it. It was still functional. And now from Skywatcher, I bought a new power plug for my EQ6R Pro. What happened with the original one was... You know, I used it so many times that this little screw-on thing right here came off. And this whole uh, unit came out of here. And, you know, deep in, inside of this thing, there's a fuse. And I was on the road. Anyway, I broke the fuse and I lost this little positive plunger here. So all I had was the negative side and no positive. And so what I did was I just cut it and spliced it and hooked it directly onto my pyramid power supply. And it seemed to be working just fine, but I hate to run like that. So I'd rather plug this into my pyramid power supply rather than the way I'm doing it today. That's why I replaced this. So this is from Skywatcher and uh, this is from Orion. So that's the replacement parts. Let's see if this Orion will replace the original Skywatcher unit. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So, on the pyramid, I had to splice the wire here, negative to positive on that terminal right there, because I lost the center pin. What I mean by that is, here's the center pin. I lost the center of that thing. It fell out, and uh, I couldn't find it. I did, have, however, find the, the screw-on piece here. Anyway, so I, I cut that thing off, and I spliced it into there. And, you know, that worked fine. You know, here's the, here's the end of it. But I don't like running like that. I don't like these... I'd rather run with the 12-volt thing working. So let's, let's take that thing off. Just unscrew it off of the terminal posts here. Simple enough, right? Then we'll actually pick up this unit here. 
and plug it into my pyramid power there. Okay, now let me plug this in and we'll do a quick little test. Okay, so we've got power now to the pyramid. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Hey, look at that. It looks like it's working. What about you know? The Orion works with the Skywatcher. Sweet. The real test is when I find when I fire this guy up outside, but looks like it works. Okay, so the reason that I went with the Orion unit, there was two re there were two reasons, really. The first was the Skywatcher unit was not available in the US easily. I would have had to have ordered it through the UK and then pay the enormous overseas shipping charge. So Skywatcher USA didn't have the unit and I checked that to make sure. Went through High Point, went through Skywatcher, neither one of them could get it for me locally within the States. The second reason is the Orion unit was available locally in the US and was also cheaper. You know, by on the order of I think a hundred bucks off. So uh, and, you know, this is the SynScan version 5 hand controller going to a SynScan version 4 firmware. And the Orion guys seem to think that that should be just fine. So we're going to test it out here and uh, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, let's do a quick test. So here's the original Skywatcher hand control. Here's the new Orion. We're about to try this out and see if it can control this mount here. Now, you might notice that I've got it plugged in. Got my new power cable over here running up to the unit here and I've also got my laptop over here and uh, we're going to connect the cable the USB 3.0 to here see if we can control it with the computer first things first we'll go ahead and power it on okay initializing that's a good sign that's a good sign okay good let's just quickly go through some default settings here I won't bother changing anything okay no we don't need to align okay now can I Control the mount this way. Yes, we can. All right, well, let's try it with the uh, computer now. So I'll go ahead and connect the USB 3.0 in. The bottom over here. Like that. And I hear my computer is recognizing the USB. So I'm gonna tell uh, Sequence Generator Pro to go ahead and locate the comm driver. Let's see, so just the telescope here. Looks like it's comm 16, click OK on that. Click connect on that. Okay, looks like it's connecting. Now let's see if we can move with it. So I'm gonna use this little guy to see if we can actually move the mount here. All right. Success. Okay, so the results are in. The Orion hand controller works with the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Okay, guys, success. The Orion SynScan version 5 hand controller does indeed work with the EQ6R uh, Pro version 4 firmware hand controller. I'm really excited about that. So I could have bought the SynScan version if I had ordered from a UK company First Light Optics I would have had to wait for maybe I don't know three weeks to ship it and I probably would have ended up paying around $195 as it is I went to telescope.com and I I found the Orion version 5 which works just fine for 141 so I saved about 50 bucks and uh, you know if you if you have that situation could be confident in the Orion. It works great. And uh, the power cord, I ordered directly through Skywatcher USA. My buddy Kevin over there hooked me up. 19 bucks. I think that's what it was. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll do some more fun videos like this again soon. See you next time. Bye.